Hi, I'm Karen Ryder. I'm 36. I'm a neurobiologist. I run a research lab with several colleagues, some postdocs, some grad students. It's called Ganglionics. It's in a suburban Palo Alto biotech corridor. Folks in the lab are working on a whole range of vision things. Early mammalian vision, machine vision, analog VLSI, optical flow, and lots more. Myself, I'm really interested in visual consciousness, visual awareness, neuronal activity, a.k.a. the mind-body problem. Do you have any idea how difficult it is to actually see? You just open your eyes and it's all there, like taking a lens cap off a camera? No. People who've had lifelong cataracts removed generally never learn to see. Their brain never learned, now can't learn, to make sense of the chaotic firings of a hundred million rods and cones. It drives them crazy. Uh, most of them wish they never had the surgery. Some of them commit suicide. The simple truth is that taking that mess and finding edges, shapes, objects, meaning... The simple truth is that taking that mess and finding your mother's face is a staggeringly more complex task than beating Deep Blue or uh, winning the Nobel Prize in economics. My daughter Laura started playing volleyball last year. She's 12 now. She's a big 12. It's funny, Katie down the street is also 12, but she's so small. I can't imagine anyone would ever guess they're the same age. Anyway, I saw her first match a couple of weeks ago. Actually, they played three matches in one day. Uh, at first, I don't think uh, some of the other parents quite knew what to make of me. Laura's dad, he's not her coach, but he coaches the older girls for the same club. Anyway, finally, uh, half-joking, but maybe in a way not, Laura's coach asked him if it was all right to be nice to me. It's Laura's birthday on Sunday. We talked about having a slumber party, but then uh, some of the boys wanted to invite themselves along. Laura's definitely noticed boys recently. I vetoed all co-ed slumber parties. Her school, her Catholic school, can you believe this, is organizing movie dates. <sighs> anyway, my dad's in the hospital again, and so we're putting off the slumber party for a while, and we're having a hospital birthday party on Sunday.